Greetings everyone and welcome to this all new Let's Create Something with Trapco DAO episode and uh, today we're gonna create something of this nature, a retro look for uh, some kind of spaceship shooter like uh, the old console, the old Vectrex console uh, or some old uh, graphics that used to be uh, around in the, the 80s so um, I suspect this one is gonna be a bit longer if they're not already uh, too long so I'm gonna separate this one in two parts uh, the first part we're gonna I'm gonna try to uh, as quickly as I can show you how to create the look so the wireframe uh, green glow look thing and uh, this should take not that much time but uh, on the second part we'll look at how to model and animate this little cool starship here so uh, st if you stick around uh, but hopefully uh, we can start uh, getting nailing this look right away so let's get in after effects and i'm going to create a new comp here uh, i'm going to call it starship that was starship 1080 by 1080 it's a square composition and uh, control y for a new solid that we're going to call tau and i'm going to apply tau to that right away so the wireframe look now we've got this basic setup let's go right away in the rendering settings so we're gonna set that to density for the moment and uh, here on the draw setting here we've got the uh, wireframe so that gives us a uh, pretty uh, quick to render and uh, nice uh, wire wireframe look here that we have um, and then we can change the blending modes and we can set it to be uh, the depth buff so we'll see through or not see through some of those lines um, and let's create a uh, control alt shift L we're gonna create a new tau light and we're gonna just make a tau cube so this is a special light if you call it tau cube all in caps it's gonna give us a light and let's control alt O we're gonna make in sort that is doesn't auto orient and uh, we're gonna center it. So let's uh, make it 540, 540 and zero. So that'll make us a cube that we can move around and animate uh, with keyframes. And it's uh, got this wireframe look. So for the moment, I'm gonna get rid of that. And uh, this cube, uh, it got four sides by default, but we can still hard code some here. So if we write down Sid, uh, column tree and uh, I'm gonna hit control alt front slash just to purge the memory here and uh, we're gonna be able to get a triangle so the, dif the difference between this and a normal tau geometry light is that if we add for instance keyframes on the position so uh, I'm gonna add a keyframe here and another one uh, after that and uh, it might not refresh on my version but on yours it might do so but this will just allow me to simply move uh, the the geometry it's, it's not going to create a path of geometry along this uh, this path it's go just going to move our thing as it as if it was an object so if i have a second one i'm just going to control d to duplicate it and this one is not going to be a cube so uh, this one is going to be just a basic so this is this is what we would get uh, with without the cube written down so it's got those keyframes this is being interpreted as create a path using the triangle uh, so it will make uh, 25 segments by default that we have it will make 25 triangles uh, from this point in space to this point in space but let me just undo this cube here whoops uh, yeah this cube here let me just refresh is not going to create a path of geometry it's just it's a triangle it's just there so uh, let's make it we can also have a sphere like that so let's make it a sphere and then let's force refresh so a sphere with three segments it gives us some kind of a shape like that so let's get back to the the cube for a moment uh, just getting through everything that I feel is important with the wireframe so now it's got this kind of weird look I'm gonna make a camera so control alt shift C and I'm gonna make a default camera I'm gonna control alt shift Y just to make a new null 
and to attach this camera to this null uh, to be able to rotate around the triangle. So our triangle's got plenty of uh, wire framey stuff in there. And we can change the aspect of that. Right now it's tessellating as triangles. If we change that to quads, we'll lose the stripes that are on the side. And there might be a, just gonna undo that here. There are also other lines that are created by the chamfer. So if I re just remove that, then we've got a straight triangle with this activated and we can control its uh, width. We've got some bevel here that we can control. So we're just we're gonna get rid of it for a moment. And uh, I'm gonna set that to quad. So we want as few lines as possible, just the contour lines. But the problem with this, and uh, this is something that I would like to be addressed in a future version. If we have caps, then we have wireframes on the caps and we don't have any ways to uh, remove it from there aside from rem totally removing the caps. So uh, I'm gonna remove the caps and now I'm left with that basic triangle shape as, bas as basic as I can get it. But since I've removed the cap all together, uh, we don't have the wireframes on this part here and the other part, but it's not it's not there, the cap. I, I'd like the cap to be there, but to have the option to remove the triangulation wires on them, maybe uh, that can be in the future Tao version. Uh, we don't need the ambient occlusion for anything that we're gonna, we're gonna do wireframe wise because we don't need any shadows to be calculated um, with that. Uh, it might look kind of similar with flat or uh, smooth or density shader, but I think density should be what we use here uh, if we wanna get this look. So now we, we have this triangle and it's a cube. So let's get back to the default camera rotation. And uh, that's the, the base, the base of it. So we can make this green by changing the light color. I just quickly twice tap on A here to open up the options from this light. And I'm gonna change the color to something more retro green stuff. Yeah, so that's uh, And uh, now that we understand how this thing is made, we're just gonna change this to a sphere. So now we have a sphere with three sides and uh, no caps and uh, wireframes. It gives us some kind of a diamond shape stuff here. Um, Zelda Rupee, if you catch the reference. And uh, so that's how I, I made the, uh, went along and crea created the uh, the looks, this retro look on everything. The only thing that it's missing now is a glow. So let's control Alt Y. We're gonna add an adjustment layer on top of that and we're gonna get the glow effect. So right here and uh, the default settings, uh, I don't know for you, Maybe it's right away what you uh, would need, but here is something that you can mess around with. Uh, bringing this down will narrow the, the, the glow and uh, will make it a little bit wider on the interstice, in, in on the where the lines meets up. And uh, one thing that we can do also here is set that to uh, add to get more brightness in there and even set it to 32 bits per channel. So now we have some glow, very apparent. So let's uh, reset this effect and uh, that's uh, controlling that here. We can, I mean, decide the amount of glows, the uh, uh, glows that we get here. And perhaps, setting it to add is not going to be the best option. So let's ju just turn this to normal or back to add and then we can uh, change the density effect or just make it back to uh, off and uh, adjust the glow in consequence. So depending on exactly how you want it. So now we can see through like 
if you want something that uh, would hide the, the lines behind there are some other options here uh, right in the draw options here so this is wireframe filled would look like that with those settings points now it's just going to show the points where the line meets up and uh, front fill back wire it will fill on the front and uh, let me just remove the glow so we don't get uh, confused by it front fill black coal front wire black coal so this will kind of show uh, the front wires but some will disappear on on certain angles so maybe that's interesting maybe you want them all the time so uh, let's leave it to wire wireframe or let's set it to fill and right in the material and lighting we can set our material to be black so everything will disappear once again and um, from there we can activate the uh, wireframe from the second pass instead of having it drawn uh, we're just gonna draw on top of our basic geometry the line so then we won't see through the other ones if we set the depth buff to off we'll get it back with these settings but if it's set to on then we have I think sometime what we would want uh, if we want to uh, display a wireframe art artwork so now uh, we've got the wireframe from here we can select uh, its width we can adjust that for uh, the width and uh, we can make this thingy green again so sometimes making it a little bit more on the white will help us with the glows so let me turn this back on so now we've got different types of uh, different type of glowing uh, glow, glowing stuff and why is, why is it moving where do we have keyframes here oh yeah I moved it on the side here right there so that's basically uh, how, how I would make that and to make it rotate I would just go through here and let's go mm, 45 frames and let's make a 180 rotation and uh, let's look at that so we've got our little loop here we can make it rotate on the Z as well a whole revolution this time so let's try that and there we've got our little rotating rupees which is not looping well let's try that minus 360 So this is uh, how to get the glow look. It can be applied to anything, like if we didn't have a Tau sphere, but uh, if we just had uh, some Tau geometry here. Let's refresh that. So here we've got our basic four side Tau geometry. I'm gonna create a first keyframe. I'm gonna go on frame 300, because that's the last frame by default for geometry creation it uses uh, 10 seconds for the default uh, geometry creation so there's uh, I'm creating a triangle triangular path uh, towards us by uh, moving the keyframes it's pretty pretty straightforward right there I'll rotate back so then we've got some kind of a triangular corridor here. So that's the um, glow effect. Now for the second part, let's create the starship.